Welcome to the Coffee Snobs Podcast, where we just really love good coffee. So grab your cup of coffee and join us each episode as we explore any and everything coffee related. From pour overs to lattes to the coffee experience, we explore it all because, well, life's too short to drink bad coffee. Let's go. So hello and welcome to this episode of the Coffee Snobs Podcast. My name is Aaron. This is episode 11 and I have my good friend, co-host Tyler Dancy on today. Hello. And today we are talking about trade. Yep. Trade. 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 How we get some of our coffee from different areas. Trade coffee. So we are in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina and... We're getting coffee from all across the United States, and we wanted to kind of share just a little bit. This is not a sponsored podcast by on by all means, but we just want to share different ways that we get coffee, and trade is one of those at this moment. But Absolutely. before we get into that, Tyler, what is new with you? Well, what is new with me? Uh, not a ton. Uh, recently, or currently at home, I am brewing a Kickapoo Roasters blend. Uh, Kickapoo is out of Wisconsin. And they are a roaster I've been able to sample through Trade Coffee, which yeah. we're going to be talking about. So uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I've got a cup of the Kickapoo in my hand, and it is very good. Very good. Glad you're enjoying that. Uh, there's a new coffee shop I've heard of in the Concord area called uh, Press and Porter. Uh, that is correct. I have not had a chance to visit that Yeah, yet. so I actually went there uh, this week. Oh, really? And had a uh, had a cortada from there, and That's your go-to. yeah, there it, was, it, it was a go to. And I have to say, I think Red uh, Red Rooster is the is who is doing the beans. I've, I've heard of them. Yeah, and I think they're out of the Virginia area, mm-hmm. and um, it was really good, really, really? good. Uh, had a good conversation with the owner, with the oh. co owner. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll have them on the show here soon, and kind of hear a little bit more about their story and and about the restaurant. It was good though. Sounds I enjoyed cool. it. I like to have to get down there soon. Uh, so speaking of that, what's new with you, Avery? Well, I am trying to not have my first cup of coffee until I get to work. So I'm trying to wait about an hour and 15 minutes Okay. Uh, after I get up. Uh, just trying something new. I heard it was um, a thing to help you throughout the day. So I'm just trying it. But also cool. in that, I got to sit into a conversation with uh, a bunch of creatives in Charlotte with James Yoder. Who the heck is James Yoder? James Yoder is, uh, man, he's the guy who founded, him and his wife founded Not Just Coffee and really kind of raised the bar for coffee, for boutique coffee in the Charlotte area. It was a yeah. it was a really, really good conversation. Cool. Um, had a great conversation afterwards with him, uh, just a one-on-one. Wished I would have recorded it because... The dude is so knowledgeable and genuinely cares about coffee. Like it's not just he's building a beautiful, you know, coffee facility and an environment, but they really do care about coffee and the coffee that is is delivered. Um, you know, he just from the from the way that they train the baristas, the amount of information that they have, the the consistency from shop to shop to shop. It was it was really cool to talk with him and uh, so hopefully. One day we'll have him Maybe on the show. Big enough one Seriously, day. it was it was very very exciting cool. and a uh, cool opportunity. So to get into today's topic, we're talking about trade, and I did not know anything about trade coffee. Uh, and I think Tyler, you were the one who told me about mm-hmm. it, and you've yep. been using it for a while. And tell tell me and tell the, our listeners what trade is. All right, so so trade coffee again. This is not sponsored. Yet. No, not yet. But. Um, I found out about Trade Coffee on Instagram, of all places. Um, I guess they were advertising. And essentially, Trade um, partners with 400 individual high-quality roasters all across the country. 400? 400. Dude. So, we, you know, we talk a lot about the Charlotte coffee scene and, and whatnot. But uh, you go to Trade's website. It's uh, drinktrade.com. And basically, there's a questionnaire. It says it walks you through what types of coffee you like, what kind of methods that you prefer, uh, you know, brewing. And even, you know, do you prefer uh, black coffee or do you prefer sweeteners and creamers and et cetera? And basically it gives you a flavor profile match. And it's kind of like, 
you know, when ne- if you're watching Netflix and it'll suggest movies based on what you've been watching or TV shows. So essentially you put in your preferences and it spits out several different uh, options. And if you're, so I subscribe to it Yeah, and it's, it's unique. You kind of, go out there on a limb, you're not entirely sure what coffee you're going to be get. So you can set the frequency. Um, so I get like one bag a month and you can choose to have it pre-ground or whole bean, which is what I get. And essentially they send you a bag of coffee. You try it, you tell them, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down and they continually. Okay. Okay. So, you, so it's a mix and match. So first off, let's take it back just real quick. Cause we just, unloaded really quickly the, the drink trade. So you have a questionnaire, right? Uh-huh. And you went through and, because I think the first bag of coffee that you got was Huck, wasn't it? I think it was. It because, was. oh my God, like I remember that bag of coffee was incredible. It, it was very, very So that's good. Huckleberry. They're out of Denver, Colorado, uh-huh. right? Denver, Colorado? Denver, that's and, correct. And that was through trade. And that was simply you filling out a questionnaire, mm-hmm. finding out your flavor palette, to, like yeah, maybe coffee if, palette. Like, if you like traditional or if you're a little more experimental. And um, like I said, as I enjoy maybe not your traditional espresso blends. I enjoy something that's got a little more of the uh, prominent fruit notes and medium roast, stuff like that. So, so basically, yeah, I got my first bag in the mail. They ship it to you directly from the roaster, so it's super fresh. I mean, you're getting it one to two days after it's been roasted. Wow. And it's just been cool. It's been a, So, obviously, I really liked the Huckleberry, so I gave it a thumbs up and, like, a good review. And I'd say since then, I've probably gotten at least half a dozen bags of coffee, and they've all been different. So, I've gotten Huckleberry, Kickapoo, um, Equator... I'm trying to think of several other ones. And, you know. You got multiple bags of the uh, the Huckleberry, but, but they were different. They were different. Um, yeah, so one cool thing about trade is basically you can do the essentially surprise me, you know, tell me and, you know, give them your references. But if you find something that you enjoy, you can do a reorder. Yeah. So I, I say, oh, I really like the Huck. So you can actually – on demand, order any bag that you want. And one thing is, it's actually cheaper than ordering directly sometimes from the roaster because if it's something that you previously had, you get to pay, shipping is free. Okay. So for me, it's essentially just been a way to try quite a few different roasters that I would not have even known about necessarily. And it all started with the Dern Instagram. All so. the Dern Instagram. So I wanted to, I'm on drinktrade.com and I'm looking up the matching and I really like their four sections. They say, I'm pretty new at all of this. This is to find out your coffee preference and your kind of palate. I'm pretty new to this. I'm an intermediate stage. I'm pretty advanced and I'm a total coffee nerd. Or snob. I should say snob, I, I think. And and it would be a great sponsorship trade. But no, seriously. <laughs> so it's kind of it it does it it really helps you in your coffee journey of getting something. And you can set it you said also about scheduling. So you can set it to where you get a bag normally when you should finish a previous bag, right, Tyler? Yeah, that's the idea. I mean, I think you can get it as, as many bags as you want, as often as you want, but I think probably the lowest frequency um, is like one 12 ounce bag, uh, say every three to four weeks. So essentially, one bag of coffee a month. So if that's if you're just one person, that's probably be you know what you're going to be going through. So what you're saying is, with trade, you can get pretty much a a new bag from a different area just consistently. So that way, you're constantly trying different cups of coffee and or trying different coffees from different regions. Correct. So what if you like, let's say you get Huckleberry and they were really, really good. Okay. Sure. So you get Huckleberry and you're like, Hey, I've signed up to get a bag, a different bag each time. Can you change that and kind of stick with Huckleberry? Uh, yes. So basically you can do the mix and match and surprise me. Um, subscription model essentially is what it is. And let's say for some reason you get a bag and 
you're not going through it as quickly as you thought. You can snooze that. So essentially, oh, I need a couple more weeks to go through these this current coffee I have. So you can snooze that. But any coffee that you want that trade offers, and again, there's uh, over like 400 different roasters and a variety of blends from each roaster, you can specifically order that. So you find something you enjoy, you know, you can keep reordering that. And one, I think I mentioned that, uh, a big benefit of that is if you reorder within, I think it's a three week time frame, you get free shipping. So that can actually save you quite a bit of money because you could, in the alternative, you could go to Huckleberry's website and order coffee directly from them. But generally you're going to pay up to like five to six bucks shipping. So again, for me, it started off as a way to trade started off as a way to try a variety of coffees and probably do it the most economical way that I saw. Yeah. Cause on their website, they say never pay for shipping. And I know that's been one of the things for me, like I love trying different coffees, mm-hmm. like from different areas, but it's really hard when I'm paying, like if I bought a bag of Onyx and like, I think Onyx is like, Let's say twenty two to twenty eight dollars a lot. bag, and then all of a sudden now I've got to pay five to seven dollars worth well, of shipping. Yeah, that kind of puts it out I mean, of reach for a lot of people. For for me, I I'm, I try to buy if I'm going to do that, uh, I will buy a lot of coffee so that way it just makes it better. So like the last uh, Sonagross thing that I bought was multiple bags. I think it was like three bags. And so that was like a lot cheaper. Sure. Uh, and if, for instance, you know, we've got several really good roasters in the Charlotte area. Yes, we do. But, you know, and we can actually drive to those shops mm-hmm. and purchase from them, which we try to support local roasters, obviously. But again, there's tons of roasters all throughout the country. Onyx is in Arkansas and mm-hmm. there's Merritt, which is out of San Antonio. I mean, all these different yeah. roasters that there's no way for us to get there to sample or try their coffee other than online ordering. Right. And so you can set a one to three week scheduling period where they're sending you bags of coffee. And, and I know for me I, right now we have me and my wife, we have way too much coffee. Like you ran out of coffee one time. We did. And, I, now, and, have and now I think, I think what, two episodes ago I said I had seven pounds. Well, I still have five pounds of coffee and that's at my house. And, and I'm not now, Currently, I'm not, not even drinking. Coffee I'm not drinking house. coffee at my house. Like I've had. Do you see a problem? I here? know. I, I mean, I, today, mm. today I had three cups of coffee this morning. Okay. So I am consuming some coffee, but um, which, by the way, it was really, really good. It was, it was good. Sun of Grouse yeah. too. Uh-huh. Ugh, so good. But uh, it, I have been able to substitute, and I know you have as well. Mm. We buy local, and we have a yeah. local bag that we have on tap. And also, and then you're getting other bags. And so when he's getting a bag, I'm getting to taste it and vice versa. Um, Because uh, here recently, my wife just, we'll we'll be getting a trade subscription here really soon because she got onto the equator. Somebody gifted her a bag of equator, Mm -hmm. which is on trade. Yeah, I've heard of them. I haven't had the chance to sample that And she loved it. Like, it was, it was, she said she loved it enough that she could drink it black. And my wife is a creamer. Junkie. Yeah, you discussed that previously. Yeah, and so um, she she drank it black. I think she's the one who drank the entire. I didn't. I think I had like two cups of coffee out of the entire bag. Wow. She drank it all because you were drinking all your other coffee at work. I know. Probably. I know. So again, you know, I have no connection whatsoever with no, trade. not at all. But um, but it's just you know we, we try to teach people of how to have good coffee and right absolutely and so. You know, we're in an area, and this will be a topic that we'll talk about really soon. We're in Concord, and Concord is a massive distribution for coffee. I don't think a lot of people understand it, but I grew up like three miles from one of the United States' largest coffee uh, manufacturer. Not Well, let me see. Would it be a distributor? They're a roaster. Oh, they roast it, yeah. S&D, S&D coffee. coffee. Mm-hmm. And I remember smelling it, and it just blows my mind that for the longest time, Concord never had a like a boutique coffee shop. Yeah, it's just in the past couple of years, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like we we've we've not, and we don't. I I'm not a huge fan of S and D coffee. I'm not, but after you look at S and D, 
how many places that they service and provide. You know, we one of our goals is to help people have good coffee and trade is one of those ways that you may be coffee poor. Like we were like for a for a local roaster, it was S&D coffee, but I don't even think we could you couldn't get S&D here, could you? Um I don't think you could go by the whatever it was, the factory. I guess they have S&D in stores. Not not entirely sure. I don't, I don't think that, they do. You know, at the time, wasn't really drinking coffee, but um, so I'm sure there's probably alternatives out there to trade. But that's one of the beautiful things of the internet's is that you're able to try and you know try new things that you wouldn't have access to previously. Yeah, we mentioned before, like for instance, you can go to a Harris Teeter grocery store. Yep, and they've got. Probably not a great selection of, of whole bean coffee, but they've got some. But I've been in there before trying to get a bag of counterculture, and the freshest bag they had was probably two months old as far as when it was roasted. The, you know, the average person might not make a big deal out of that, but to me, I, I want to try coffee that's the freshest I can get it. Yeah. So like I said, I, I don't think I've ever gotten a bag of coffee from trade that's more than – Two to three days old. Yeah, and that's that's being sent to you too. Yeah, over the mail. So I think it's essentially just shipped out from direct shipping direct from shipping the store. Yeah. From the roaster. Yeah. It comes in the USPS box and you get it in a day or two. Yeah. So here on the coffee snobs, we want to help you find the coffee that you like to have better coffee, to understand that coffee is not just a caffeinated beverage that gets you going in the morning. It's actually a desirable, yeah. tasteable, like tasty beverage. And so trade is just another way to try that. So I hope if you if you've not tried trade, hey, take a second, go to drinktrade.com. Yeah, we'll put check a link it out. in the show notes too. Um and also if you have tried trade and you like a roast on there, please tell us. Like we we love to hear what other people are drinking just as much as we love sharing what we're drinking. So if you um have a have a, a coffee on trade that you like, let us know. We'll order it. We would love to try Absolutely, something different. Especially if you pay for it. But. Exactly. But uh yeah, so so we we just love coffee. We hope that trade is another way for you to get good coffee. Yeah. And uh so yeah, if that I think that's it, Tyler. All right, guys. Thanks so much uh for listening to this episode eleven. If you are enjoying what you've been hearing, uh it would really help us out if you could Go to iTunes, leave a rating and review. That just helps us spread the word. And until next time, we are the Coffee Snobs. We'll catch you later. Adios. Adios.